This is the world's smallest programmable keyboard, and I'm going to show you why this has quickly become one of my favorite pieces of tech. This device is the Adafruit Neo Key, and as you can see, it has a single mechanical switch on it, as well as it has this gold strip, which is actually a capacitive touch sensor. You can see that it's in the shape of a USB, and that's because you can just plug this into any USB port on your computer and use it like a normal keyboard. Turning it over on the back, you can see there's actually a processor. And what this processor allows you to do is to write code in CircuitPython and program this thing to pretty much do whatever you want. Lastly, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a NeoPixel, which is just an LED that you can program to be any color on this board. It's pretty cool. I have a few examples, and I'm going to show you just how capable this little thing is. The first example I'm going to show you guys is using it as a Morse code keyboard. I thought it'd be funny to be able to program this thing to actually use it to type out full, long, full messages. Pressing the key once represents a dot in Morse code, and then pressing the capacitive touch sensor represents a dash in Morse code. Additionally, waiting a few seconds represents a space between letters. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my GitHub, and I'm going to go to the repository. So my GitHub is github.com slash ryanwa18, and this is where I post all of my projects. And the code is called macromorse. And you can see that there's only one file in it. There's this main.py file. And this was where all the code is written. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click raw. And this is going to give me all the output. And then I can just do command A to select it all and command C to copy it. And then I'm using a piece of software called Thony. And what Thony allows me to do is to program the Adafruit Neo key really easily using this nice editor. And then it also has a terminal to display any of the output. So you can see I actually have it configured to be the, to interface with the Adafruit Neo key. So if I go to configure interpreter, you can see at the port section, the Neo key shows up and it's running CircuitPython. And you can see down here, this actually shows that we are running CircuitPython 7.2.5. And just to show you kind of how interesting this is, I can actually run Python commands directly from this. So I can just do print. Hello world. And then close parentheses. And you can see that it printed hello world. And this is actually running on the device itself. So now in order to show you guys the, the uh, Morse code program, I'm just going to go ahead and paste what we had. And you can see this has a bunch of different libraries. A lot of them are from Adafruit themselves to interface as a keyboard, as well as interface with the NeoPixel, which is the LED on board. And so I'm going to go ahead and save this. So you can see there's this little asterisk. So that means the code has not yet been saved. So if I just do Command S, you can now see that the code is saved. So I'm going to go ahead and run the program. And all I have to do is click Run Current Script. And now it's listening. So I'm going to do dot, 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 dot. And then I'm going to wait a second for a space. And I'm going to do dot, dot, and then dot. And then I'm going to wait a few more seconds and it's going to decode the message. And as you can see, it decoded the message and I typed hi. Now I'm just going to walk you through some of the code. So as you can see, I have this Morse code dictionary, which maps the, uh, the letter to the Morse code. So you can see A is dot and then dash, B is dash and then dot, dot, dot and so on and so forth. And then these are some very generic functions to encrypt and decrypt the uh, Morse code. And this is where all the code is run in this main dot in this main function. And you can see here the uh, pixel is equal to NeoPixel. This is the LED on board, which you can program to be any color that you want. And in order to clear it, you just fill it with zero zero in hex. Additionally, you can see I have variables for the button to represent the switch on board as well as the I have a button for or I have a variable for touch which represents the capacitive touch sensor and then in this while loop I just loop through 
until the uh, program is complete and basically check the states of both the button and the capacitive touch sensor to represent a dot or a dash. And then once it is complete, I go ahead and decode the message and print it out. The final example I'm gonna show you guys is probably my favorite, and this is if you want to troll your friends, you can basically open up any Chrome tab and use it to display a YouTube video. And as you can see in the code here, I basically have a variable for the button to program the switch to do whatever I want. So this is the interesting part of the code. This is where you can actually send the keystrokes. So as you can see here, it's a basically a list and each one of these is going to be a different keystroke. So in this first line, it is key code uh, command on the uh, MacBook keyboard. And then also at the same time, key space. So this denotes that I'm going to be running these at the exact same time. And then going down below, I go ahead and type Chrome, and that is actually going to type out Chrome in my keyboard. And then enter, obviously pretty uh, pretty standard. And then key code plus key code T. So key code command plus key code T. And what this does is it's the keystroke to open up a new tab in Chrome. And then obviously we have the classic, the Rick Astley, never gonna give you up music video. And of course you have to play that if you wanna show your friends. And then lastly, we just hit enter. And I even threw in a way to repeat it as many times as you want. Um, so this is gonna open, if you, if you change this to five, this is going to open up five different tabs all with this music video playing on it. <laughs> So this is a pretty interesting program. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So I'm just gonna change this back to one. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then let's run the program. And you can see that it opens up Chrome, creates a new tab and starts pasting in the URL. And it automatically opens it. And you got Rick Astley, never gonna give you up. This is a super fun and easy way to troll your friends, and I will have this code also in my GitHub. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna show you guys when I change this to five, how it uh, actually opens up five different tabs. So we're gonna stop that code. We're going to save it, and then we're just gonna run it again. and you can see it does it one at a time. So it basically just loops through and it's opening up five different tabs. It's great. It takes a second, but now I have five different tabs all playing Rick Astley, never gonna give you up. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for this video. If you guys like it, as always, be sure to subscribe uh, be sure to like the video. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. I really love doing them, and if you like the content, be sure to stick around. Thanks.